Welcome everyone to Airship. It's the newest Among Us map released, the uh, fourth one in the series, and there's a bunch of new tasks to go through. We're gonna look through them all and uh, talk about how to do them and like the little pieces and parts of it, and uh, hopefully we can properly communicate each of the individual pieces of this map so that you guys can uh, improve your own gameplay. So first we have this task, which is steering in the cockpit. You line this first, and then you line this up right here, and the task is finished. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. The hardest part is the twisting of the uh, steering wheel, and then you're good to go there. There's a couple other things in here. You have a divert power, which everyone recognizes from the old map, a download over here, and then additionally, you also have your admin table over here. For anybody that's trying to use this to uh, keep an eye on the positions of everybody who search for dead bodies. As you'll notice though, unlike in Polis, there is no vitals here. So only admin table exists in the cockpit. Uh, communications is where you fix comms, it's right here. If there was a comms sabotage, this is where you'd fix it. And additionally, there's another download over here. This is the armory room. One of the tasks is picking up both of these guns and putting them over here. It's pretty simple. It's just like, you have to make sure that it's locked in place. Easy part one. There's another armory task over here. I'm pretty sure it's separate, but I'm not 100% sure. Pick up these four pistols and you put them over here. Oop, 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 oop. Locking them in place is probably the hardest part, but it's pretty simple all around. In order to access these, you can just hit the space bar if you're on, cat on keyboard, and I think you might just be able to use the use button four times if you're not. Over here, we have our first garbage task. This is a kind of weird one. If you'll notice that if I grab it right on this part, nothing happens, but if you grab it on this part, it goes up. Now, I think you're supposed to, you're intended to pull it out with like a sudden movement, but I think you can also just spin it, from what I can tell. Yeah, and it's gone, there you go. Over here we have make burger, make the bunger. It appears to be random because at this time it doesn't have a patty, so you have to use the ingredients in front of you to create a random uh, burger recipe. So let's do this real quick. I think mine's tomato double onion. What a disgusting burger. I cannot believe anyone would ever eat that. Let's go over to the viewer deck real quick and see what's going on over here. So over here we have a download task. As everybody recognizes, this is a classic from Among Us. You just stand here for eight to 10 seconds and let the imposter kill you. Everybody loves this one. Yep, you never die there. But in this map, you upload in one of these two positions over here, either on this deck over here or on this deck down here, which in order to upload, you get this pad. You'll notice connection none, so there's no progress on your bar. So you have to find it, and as soon as you do, you can upload as quickly or as slowly as you want. Perfect, there you go. And now the progress goes up quickly. So now as you can see, there's this connecting area between kitchen and security. Let's go over here. This is the tapes task. You have a number here, which is a time. It's 8.25 in the tape. So you're looking for eight hours, 25 minutes, 19 seconds. In order to find that, all you have to do is press these buttons. You'll notice that it's quickly going down. And as soon as we're close, I'm gonna hit the play button and then pause it at the perfect point. So we're just waiting right here. Just takes a little second. You can also fast forward even more to get there even faster. And as soon as you get there, hit the stop button and the task is complete. Easy clap. It's pretty long. It's kind of confusing when you first do it, but all you have to do is master the fast forward and rewind buttons. I'm sure everyone knows how to do that. This is possibly the hardest task in the game. Welcome to electrical breakers. So every single one of these is a different number and it's randomized as I've now just now discovered because last time my five was down here and this time it's over here. So that's five, this is six, let's find one, that's two, so that's important to recognize. What you have to do is you have to pull down each of these breakers in order. So this is four, so that's two, five, six, four. Let's find one over here, hopefully. Here's one, pull this down, the first one goes down. So this is not the next one in the order, it's seven. If I pull this down, nothing happens. But you'll also notice that you don't lose your progress, which is much nicer than some of the older tasks. I'm looking at you, Reactor. So we go down here. We know this is where two is. Oh, this is four for me. It looks like we have to go over here instead. Um, here's two, down. Three should be down here because we've already seen all the other ones. So we're gonna go down here real quick. That's three. We know where four is, it's over on the other side. Oh, oh. okay. Oh, looks like four's over here. God, this task is horrible. I, I'm sorry for all of you. Hopefully you have a better memory than me because this is not an easy thing to go through. Five, six, and seven. And this is by far the longest task I've ever seen in this game ever. By the way, just so you're aware, this is the normal uh, electrical task inside of uh, uh, Skeld where you have to hit the three buttons. I'm sure that you already know that, but if you don't, you can watch any of my videos and see me do it. I'm pretty good at it as a general rule. This is the medbay area. I thought this was gonna be a task because it kind of has the little darker lines, but it doesn't. 
So this is one of the download tasks. Let's see if the upload's a different uh, part of the deck here, and we'll work on it later. Grab this download real quick. Looks like it's also at that previously seen viewing deck, so maybe that's not that's the only one. Another garbage task. I think you might only be able to get one or two of these per game, but let's try the, the spin task a lot. It looks like force is the key part of that task. This is another relatively unintuitive task, and it also seems to be a little buggy, so if it doesn't work, just reset your game. So you'll see a number, a little arrow indicator, and all you have to do is twist it until you hit that number, and it'll tell you to do it the other direction until you hit the next number. Just like you would open a lock in school, or one of your school lockers. Boom. And then all you have to do is twist this one, and the task is complete. Fuel task from any of the other maps. And then we have this task, which is really fun and uh, definitely intuitive and not annoying at all. This one, you press reveal code, you memorize the four symbols here, which is green, coin, coin, red. It'll be different for you every single time. And then you have to go up there and complete it. So we're gonna go and do that real quick. But on our way, let's complete another task. You'll see that we have four bathroom stalls over here. I don't even know why all of these are accessible because the only one that has the task is this one right here. All you have to do is grab onto the plunger and go down, up, down, up until you hit red. Just like that. Nice and easy. It looks like it does lock you in here pretty quickly. So that could be a nice place to hide a body or to hide as imposter. So you could hide in here as imposter, wait for somebody to open that stall, boom, jump out, murder them in the face. Easy clap. So let's go over here. I'm shocked and appalled that there's no pool task or darts task. I, I look down upon you among us game for that one. So this one is the uh, records task. Grab a folder. All you have to do is go to the one that's indicated. Click the empty space where the folder would go. Grab the second folder. Go to the next one. Empty space. Click it. Nice and easy. Grab a folder. Go to the empty space. Oop. And then one last one. And it looks like this one's one of the storage boxes. It's the same idea. All you have to do is click an empty space. There you go. So now we're going to go down from records all the way into showers where I did not reset the tasks. Oh, I did, look at that. So I pick up these. We're gonna do this real quick, enter the code. So it looks like I've already forgotten what the task was, but I'm gonna take a guess that it's green, coin, coin, red. I was right, good. Thank God I was right. There's the shower task over here, along with another uh, piece from before. Your task here is to get the shower head to go in the right direction. Basically you wanted to orient down and slightly, ever so slightly to the right. By doing so, you charge up a hammer hit. It can go way too far to the left or way too far to the right. Just be aware that your general goal is to get it so that it's about as perfectly centered as possible. All right, um, let's see. Is that towel I have to grab? No, it's not. So we're gonna go up here and this is the, uh... God, I do have to grab another one. Wait, there was a hidden towel underneath there. Oh God, I don't know where, these, where some of these hidden towels are. Is this one of them? It is. Invisible towels. So this is the towel task. Oh, God. Where's the last invisible towel? There's another one. Hidden somewhere here. If I can find it, then I can pick it up. The towel is just invisible? Gone? Missing? Might be bugged. Oh, by the vent? Oh, is there one? By the vent? Let's see. Ah, there it is. And that's not the last towel. <laughs> God. I don't... I found another one. Hog. All right. Oh, here we go. So now you have all these towels and you can do one of two things. You could be boring and put them in like this, like a nice little nursery maid, or you could fling them into the air and try to and try to become Kobe. I highly suggest becoming Kobe. This is significantly slower than just putting them in manually. I would just like to point that out. But you can go for crazy for crazy three-pointers. Boom. Dunked. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go to this task. This is basically your scanner. It's a decontamination uh, shower. You go onto it, you get nice and clean. Pretty simple, no, no buttons to click, nothing for you to do. Put out the task as soon as you're done. This is one of your two-parter tasks where you put the photos inside and then you have to wait for them to develop. Be aware that the photos are completely developed when you click the task and it ends. <laughs> Otherwise, it will just keep going. Another ta trash task, grab it from the grab it from here, pull it out this way, or spin it. I think spinning is probably the best route. We're gonna go into the engine room and complete a quick task over here. This is the refuel area for the previously done fuel task. There we go. 
As always, there's always electrical panels in this game. You'll have a any set of electrical panels all over the map. I have no idea exactly what order they are yet, but it's pretty straightforward as a whole. Going up here into the vault room, we have two tasks, the ruby and the dressing room. This is a fun one. So you have this template of a task you're supposed to do here. You take the hat, looks like he needs the sunglasses, and he needs the, the swag vest. So that's how we create a pimp. And over here we have the ruby task. Pretty simple. You just rub all the smudges until it's nice and sparkly clean. All right, next we have this little piece of shit. This is an elevator. You get onto it, and look, you go to the other side. That's pretty pog, right? There's a problem. If I was on the other side now, I would not be able to access this elevator. It ends. It stops working. So if I get onto it now, somebody on the other side cannot get to this side. Well, now let's now go up, go up a ladder and see the terrifying hands of the humongous character. This is where you empty the garbages that you previously had emptied. So there's one. I think we did three, two, and three. Pretty simple. Oh, apparently there's a fourth one. There we go. As you can see, there's always the divert power task. That was also an electrical. I'm not sure I showed that off, but I can have a clip show that in, in retrospect. This is your card task, as always. It's just a simple read off the number, hit the, hit the uh, enter button, and you're good to go. I do believe that these are the nuclear reactor codes, so you'll be able to, at some point, use these to diffuse the reactor. All right, let's go back down. We're going to go down this way now. This is another part of our electrical task. And this is our photo task. If it's if it's done, you click the button and it's done. All right, let's go back and see that viewer uh, viewing deck thing. So I can show you a quick uh, quick way to finish this quickly. So you have no connection. You, you scan around, you find poor, and then you look for good, and then you find perfect. It's pretty simple. It's kind of intuitive. As soon as you get close to green, you're close to perfect, and then you quickly scan around looking for it. Now let's just look at one more thing for the crew that is very important, but probably not that strong in this map because there's a vent relatively close by. This is security. It does not show you a lot. This is engine room. This is vault. Entrance to vault only, you'll notice. It does not show you that previously shown vent on the other side. This is records. It also does not show you any of the vents nearby. This is security, which shows you what's happening in your room, which can be pretty cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't prevent you from dying to an imposter unless you see them walk through here, but they'll probably just close the door on you. Cargo bay. This is a pretty useful one. I would say this is probably one of the better ones because you can see anybody going through this side. If an imposter kills someone over here, they cannot escape out by venting. This shows the uh, ladder going up towards meeting room. In theory, you could use this to see an imposter waiting for you to at the button. I'm not sure why you do that. And uh, overall, not that useful, but it's still security. So some idiot's probably going to be camping at the entire game. You know how it works in this game. All right, I've showed you all the stuff to do as crew. Let me show you some stuff about imposter real quick. As imposter, you have all of your normal sabotages. You have communications. You have nuclear reactor, and you have electrical. But you'll notice that similar to Polis, and similar to Skeld, there are also doors. And these are like Polis doors, where you can close them all over the map. Cue me attempting to open these doors, because let's see what they're all about. You'll notice that throughout this entire map, we haven't had to do card swipe. What? No card swipe? That's been in every single part of the game. Yeah because they made card swipe every single one of the doors on this map. Now, if you're a good hand at it, it's not a big deal. It's actually faster than Polis doors because you don't have to click as many times. It's just one click, one slide, and you're done. But if you're even the slightest bit off, you're gonna be locked out forever. You're never it's gonna be able to escape. Good luck with that. Baby.